presidential election is fast approaching, and the big question on everyone's mind is, who will win? There are countless methods and tools being used to predict the outcome, from polls and historical trends to forecasting models and prediction markets. While some people place their trust in one method over another, today we will explore several popular approaches to see how they compare, giving us a clearer picture of who might have the best shot at winning. One commonly used tool is the Real Clear Politics platform, which aggregates polling data. By focusing on swing states such as Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, and Pennsylvania, we can estimate that Kamala Harris starts with 226 electoral votes and Donald Trump with 219. With Pennsylvania being a toss-up, this state may be the decider in this closely contested election. Next, we have the 538 model, a popular forecasting tool. It adjusts polling averages and factors in economic indicators like job growth and inflation. According to 538, Kamala Harris wins 58 out of 100 simulations, giving her a slight edge over Trump, who wins 42 out of 100. We also have the Silver Bulletin, Nate Silver's new project, which adjusts for biases in polls. As of now, Harris leads in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, securing 276 electoral votes in the presidency. The Economist's model assesses the likelihood of state outcomes, giving Harris a 60% chance of victory compared to Trump's 40%. This model takes into account past election results and key structural factors that could influence voter behavior. Alan Lichtman's 13 Keys model, which has accurately predicted every election since 1984, also favors Harris. Lichtman points to several factors, including economic strength and the absence of major scandals, as reasons Harris will prevail in 2024. Betting markets, like predicted, are also worth considering. They reflect real-time public sentiment, and currently, they show Harris with a 54% chance of winning, while Trump has a 49% chance. Finally, Thomas Miller's data-driven approach, which relies heavily on betting markets, even predicts a landslide victory for Harris, with over 400 electoral votes. While this might seem overly optimistic, it reflects a dramatic shift in voter sentiment since Harris replaced Joe Biden as the Democratic nominee. Some text goes here so, what can we conclude from these models and predictions? Most point to Kamala Harris as the likely winner of the 2024 election, but it's important to remember that nothing is set in stone. The election will ultimately be decided by the voters, not the models. So, if you want to see the future of America shaped the way you envision it, make sure to get out and vote. Only then will we know which of these predictions was right.